Hello, very good evening to you. Storm Kira is now clearing away, but it is going to remain windy as we go through the night with heavy showers, with some rain, sleet, snow mixed in, as well as some hail and thunder. Looking at the bigger picture, we can see the low that is Kira clearing away towards the east. Behind it, we have a northwesterly flow developing. That means we've got colder air coming in. As a result, we'll see some fairly significant snow across northern parts and even a little bit of snow possible further south. We do also still have a number of wind warnings in force. The yellow warning across the whole of the UK as we go through the rest of the day, but it's across this amber area for England and Wales where there is still the risk of some damaging winds despite the really strong winds having eased. The squally band of rain that brought the really intense bursts of uh, wind will clear away eastwards as we go through this evening. Behind it then, it's a showery picture for the whole of the UK. These showers, heavy at times, could have some hail and thunder mixed in too. Temperatures aren't going to drop especially low across more southern areas due to the strong winds, but further north in sheltered spots, we could get close to around freezing. As a result, some icy patches due to these wintry showers that are going to be pushing their way in. Monday then getting off to a blustery, windy start for many of us. Some bright sunny spells, especially for eastern England, but further west, showers making their way in. The showers across northern northwestern parts will be heavy at times and readily falling as sleet or snow. But it's across central southern areas where we'll see a swathe of wet weather pushing eastwards and there could be some hill snow mixed in with this too. Temperatures markedly lower than we've seen over the weekend and with it still being very windy, it is going to feel cold too. We have a number of warnings in for for Monday. Strong winds, particularly around the south coast, coast, are likely to lead to some impacts here. Further north, and the wind and snow is likely to bring some blizzards, particularly over the highest ground of Scotland. And where we see wintry showers feeding into northern parts of England as we go through Monday, Monday night, and into Tuesday, that does bring the risk of some icy patches. Looking further ahead, and as we go through the end of the day on Monday, still plenty of showers for parts of Scotland, Northern England and Northern Ireland, staying windy here too, which is why we have the risk of some blizzards. Further south, and it is a drier picture, but still some showers to watch out for, and temperatures perhaps a touch lower for some of us than on Sunday night. On Tuesday, and the blustery theme remains, still bringing some strong winds in, and that means we are going to continue to see some showers. The heavier showers still cross northern parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland, and Northern England, and these will still readily be falling as sleet or snow. Further south, it is a brighter picture, some decent sunshine perhaps for central and eastern parts, but temperatures still on the low side, and with those strong winds, it is still going to feel cold. There are further warnings to come as we go through the rest of the week. It is staying unsettled, so it's always worth keeping up to date with the full forecast on both the Met Office website, our app, and all of our social media channels. I'll see you later.